Hey guys, I just finished watching the season two finale of Rain, and oh my goodness, holy crap, they fit so much in there. Oh my god, they there are too many storylines to talk about. I mean, this is only reaction, but holy shit, guys, like they end they end the storylines. They began new ones. They put so much in there. I'm all I'm gonna do is react like to the things I'm most important about think are most important. And then of course I will discuss it at length in my live stream I plan on doing either tomorrow or Saturday. But holy shit guys, like this is too much. They put way too much in this storyline in this epi in this episode. Like seriously, like I just I don't know where to begin. No, I'm just going to react to it. First of all, Mary's not pregnant. I was so excited last week, but then after thinking, I was like, yeah, makes sense that she's not pregnant. So Mary's not pregnant. She stabs Conde. But don't worry, Conde lives. He escapes, and he's probably in Navarre, by, on, and he's on his way to Navarre, most likely. So, woo, we'll be seeing him next season. Take that, Freire Shippers. Conde's alive. Um... Let's see. Catherine, okay, there's this whole thing with involving Lola and the baby, and let's just say because of it, Narcisse helps Francis and Mary, and actually I think he gains uh, Mary's trust now, and Catherine is banished. Okay, Delphine, she's she was supposed to be burned as like a witch, and she escaped, but obviously she did something to bash, and OMG, um, Renaud is dead. That's really sad. I liked him. He was a good character. And Ken is pregnant with his baby. And she tries to get Bash, and she sleeps with Bash to try to get him to believe it's his. But he learns from Delphine because remember she had touched her the last episode. So now Ken is off, and she's apparently gonna go. She's left court for a few for for her pregnancy, and she'll come back. And well, she won't. She's giving up her baby or what, I guess, or something, and, yeah. Let's see. Um, what else? Okay, um, shoot. Well, it looks like Mary and Francis are back together, guys. You know, I've been saying this as if they got back together, I want to be, like, I want to be, like, mad or anything. I'd be like, oh, I'd be okay with it because the whole, like, back and forth and the love triangle stuff was getting old but honestly it's a huge letdown all that happened and they're back together I guess I don't know it just it's a huge letdown I'm not like angry about it well I wasn't when I was watching it but now I'm just like okay whatever but it's not gonna last because Francis is dying Francis is dying, guys. No, so basically, I'm actually kind of relieved he didn't die the this finale because now he's de no, he's gonna not live past season three. Now I know for sure he's going to die next season, and it's gonna be an interesting watch. And we got Nostradamus back, guys. We haven't seen him. It's like. 20 episodes, basically, since the end of episode two of this season, and it's nice to see him back. Um, and then the last most important thing, for, uh, Catherine goes to Elizabeth. I was fangirling out so hard when we saw Elizabeth. I was, like, screaming. You should have seen me. You would have been entertained. And, uh, yeah. So, Elizabeth, Catherine's basically, that bitch is going to Elizabeth, uh, to take down Mary, which is no surprise. I saw it in the trailer anyway. So, so yeah, basically this episode, it ended storylines and it started new ones. It left on the cliffhanger and now I have to wait freaking like three and a half, four months, depending on how early uh, they release this show in October, which is probably when I'll be come back. And just, wow, this episode was freaking crazy. Um... So much happened, too much happened in this episode, and oh my gosh, wait, just so much happened, and I'll definitely be discuss discussing this at length in my live stream, which I will make a video about that probably tomorrow. Um, holy crap, guys, 
But the most important thing of this episode, Kande lives, and he, and he will be next next season. And I'm so, this is like, now, like, at the end of season one, I wasn't, like, fangirling out so hard. You know, I wasn't, like, ah, excited because I was, like, okay, I was definitely looking forward to this season. But I wasn't, like, be, you know, over the moon excited. But now, with this episode, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. And Kanye's alive. That's all that matters to me. And Frary's back. And um, you know what? Oh, Frary Shippers, I'll let you have your little victory dance. You know what? Whatever. I mean, I never, I knew Mondi would never last, but, you know, I knew Frary would eventually be back together anyways, but it was still a huge letdown. So, Frary Shippers, have your little victory dance. But, no, it's not going to last long because France is definitely going to be dying, kill, being killed off um, next season. So, enjoy it while well, it lasts. And Nostradamus is back. And once again, Conde is not dead. Hallelujah. That's all that matters to me. And yeah. So I will see you in tomorrow. And tomorrow I will have three videos up talking about my plans for season two. Announce, I mean, season three of Rain. Uh, announcing when I'm going to do uh, my live stream. And of course, either a Pitch Perfect 2 review or a Mad Max review. I'm seeing both those movies this weekend. But I'm trying to, to, to decide which one I'm going to watch first. So, yeah. Uh, tell me your thoughts on this episode. Holy crap, it was crazy. I can't wait for season three. I'm so freaking excited, guys. Like, holy crap. How am I going to do this, like, all summer? Like, with me without rain. I'm just like, ah! I'm so excited, guys. My excitement for the show is finally back because the middle of the season was not so good. And now these last couple episodes have been crazy, great, even though they fit way too much in this finale. Just, ah! Okay, I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.